Functionality of the WordPress administration interface is handled by the files in the WP admin directory. Let's dive a bit deeper into the code that runs on a typical WordPress admin request and understand how it differs from a front-end request. Unlike the typical front-end request, different PHP files are executed depending on the functionality being used. Additionally, permalinks are not used in the admin interface, but instead query strings are used to pass data to these locations. For example, the default URL of the admin dashboard is slash WP admin. This will load the index.php file in the WP admin directory. However, if you want to view the posts on your site, the URL changes to WP admin slash edit.php, and this will load the edit.php file in the WP admin directory. If you click the edit post button, the requested URL is WP admin post.php and then a query string. In this case, post equals one and action equals edit. These query string variables are then used to determine what content to display. There are, however, a lot of commonalities in how each of these different admin files work. Usually, the WP admin admin.php file is included, which sets up the WordPress environment. This file sets up any admin specific constants and then includes the same WP load file that is used on the front end, which in turn includes WP config to include all the configuration settings for a WordPress install and WP settings, which sets up the WordPress environment. The admin page file will then load any specific internal functionality, but only for the purposes of this specific section of the admin interface. In case of the dashboard, it will include the WordPress dashboard API, which is located at WP admin forward slash includes forward slash dashboard. It will then set up any specific content and variables required for the dashboard functionality. Next, it will typically require the WP admin admin header file, which performs things like setting up and rendering the header area of the admin interface, as well as rendering the admin menu. After that, it will generate and render the content for the specific admin page. Finally, it will require the WP admin admin footer file which sets up and renders the footer of the admin interface.